Look at the trees. It's so beautiful. So lately I've been looking at Hulu's recommendation list to find new shows that I can watch because the ones that I actually really want to watch are not making new episodes right now. House, Lie to Me, Bones, gotta love Bones. But I've been looking at the recommendations on Hulu, trying to find some new shows to watch, and I came across this show called Misfits. And the basic premise of the show is pretty simple. You have a few young offenders who have been sentenced to community service to paint things, spend time with the old people, and they get caught in this freak lightning storm with these hails. I mean, big, ginormous hail, like hail like the size of boulders. And they get shocked by lightning, and all of a sudden they have superpowers pretty standard superhero stuff. I mean, most of the superpowers are just increased aspects of their own personalities that they already have. For instance, one of the boys is very shy, very standoffish, and kind of weird and freakish, kind of standing up in the corner nobody ever realizes he's actually there. He can now turn invisible. The one incredibly hot chick of the group who obviously uses her attractiveness or sex appeal to get what she wants, when she wants, where she wants it, is now endowed with the power to render a man completely helpless to her wiles by simply touching him skin to skin. While this may seem really cool, there are instances I think you can understand where that might be a problem. There's another girl who can read people's minds. I don't know how that figures into her personality. And then there's a really, really annoying kid who is still, after getting shocked, just really, really annoying. Big mouth, talks a lot, says things that you really shouldn't say. So after watching the show, I started thinking, what would my superpower be? If it's simply a matter of taking my own personality and getting the most dominant trait or the most recessive trait and exploding it, and basically I came up with two theories. One is that my misanthropic tendencies would explode and turn me into the supercharged Ted Bundy kind of ex serial murderer person. Yeah, I wouldn't like that one too much. The other trait of mine that I think might be enhanced by this kind of event is that I'm usually super good at figuring people out. Like, I look at things, I look at people, I look at their faces, and whether they're trying to hide it or not, I can usually tell what they're feeling. So I think maybe empathy would be a good one for me. But the interesting thing about this show is that it gets you to think about these kinds of things. And while it is a little bit cheaply made, the budget not too high, I do enjoy watching it. But regardless of whether anybody else likes it, I do enjoy it. I like it and just felt like sharing it. Frankly, I'm bored. I'm sitting here waiting for my food to get ready at Wings to go, and it takes a little while, and then I'm going to go eat. So, so until that happened, I thought I'd get on here and share this a little bit with you. And I'm going to keep my abrupt endings going.